Okay, my friends, this time I'm gonna show you how to disable and enable a point or zone on a NFS 320, NFS 2640. So, start you press the enter button and you enter the password. In this case is five times number one. Enter, acknowledge that. Then you're gonna select number one for disable. Number one. Then it gives you the options for zones, modules, detectors, and output or bell circuits. So we're gonna disable a zone. To disable a zone, you press the Z, and then it's gonna blink on the C right there. You can enter um, zone and numbers from one to 99 gonna do zero one enter right now it's enable you want to disable and press next selection it's gonna change from enable to disable so if I press uh, next selection again it's gonna change back to enable we want to disable so we're gonna change it to disable and then press enter to accept now the panel is gonna be you're gonna press acknowledge to stop the piezo. Now that zone is disabled. You're gonna notice that the point disabled light is gonna turn on solid. If you're only disabling one zone, you can go ahead and uh, exit by hitting the ESC key a couple times until you see the um, welcome message. It's gonna show disable zone one or disable zone two on the screen now we're going to proceed to um disable a point point can be a module or a detector so you're going to go enter number one for programming then five times number one in this case for the password one two three four five enter acknowledge that then you're gonna go to disable. Now in this case, I want to disable a module. Modules, I select that for modules. I, if I want to disable a detector, I wanna select the detectors. So in this case, we're gonna do modules. So you're gonna see the blinker right here. And this is a 640 panel, so you can select from loop one or loop two. If it's a 320, you only have one loop, so you have no options. But in this case, we only have one loop installed, so it's gonna be, let's say module 001, 001. That's module 001, then we press enter, hit enable. We hit the next selection to change it from enable to disable, and back to enable. So we wanna disable, so we're gonna leave it on disable, and then we press enter. Once we press enter, that point is being disabled. So you can acknowledge that and hit SE escape okay so that would be it